Good, y'all coming through live and direct once again. It's your main man, Mr. Jeff Tess. And you're watching, once again, of course, the fall of Mr. Jeff Tess. And today, what we are going to be talking about is the concept of letting go. And the reason I bring that up is because two individuals, uh, I think I'm having some issues with that. Two individuals that are some of the greatest of all times in their respective arenas. And uh, they're having some issues with this letting go thing. First one is your main man, Brett Favre, quarterback, one of the great quarterbacks of all time. You know, played for the Green Bay Packers for all these years, led them to Super Bowl championships. Um, you know, all of these great records. Ended his career last year in the playoffs in a loss when he threw an interception to the New York Football Giants, the eventual Super Bowl champion, New York Football Giants. And um, ended his career and everybody thought, you know, he cried and this is it, this is the end. All of a sudden, Brett Favre come up with some tomfoolery talking about he wants to get back into the NFL. And not only does he want to get back, he wants to either play for the Packers and start or will ship his ass and play for like the Vikings or some other rivalry or some other team. Brett Favre, I'm sorry, brother. It's time to let go. You had your run, you played great, and now you're causing so much unnecessary drama in this NFL. I don't know if it's for attention or what. But I know you love the game, brother, but it is time to let go. You playing on another team right now is just not the look, I think, either A, for your legacy or B, for your career. Um, this guy's talking about sending illegal text messages, talking about more, you know, fucking um, coded messages to, to coaches and Morse code and all these, like, you know, pigeon mail and all these things to all these different agents and the league commissioner. Brett Favre is doing all types of weird nonsense to try and get himself back onto an NFL team or at least reinstated into NFL. And this is out of control. It is completely out of control. So Brett Favre, it's time to let go, bro. You had your run. End it. Number two is your man, LL Cool J, one of the greatest rappers of all time. Um, one of the, you know, icons in the, in the game of rap. Now, LL has a new song that I just heard with, uh, I believe the artist is The Dream, I think it's called Baby, in which, um, you know, again, I respect LL, but he has some pedestrian lyrics in it, and you know, the same way that Kat said that they don't believe Rick Ross was is talking about drugs, it's very hard for me to believe LL Cool J, even as buff and cut and, you know, plastic surgerized his face is, it's hard for me to believe that LL Cool J is hollering at like little 18 year olds in the club with his kids. Um, in the house, no pun intended, you get that one? <laughs> and um, it's very hard for me to see LL in this position, man. The rhymes aren't the same. He's talking about smacking up MCs and LL, bruh, it is time to let go. I'm not trying to diss you because you are one of the, the great ones, even though I thought you lost the cannabis in that battle. Uh, it's time to let go, man. LL Cool J, Brett Favre, wrap it up, sign it up, chill back. I wish I had a job, man, that... I could not retire from because we all know I'm trying to retire right now from what my job is, is putting me through, man. So, uh, time to retire, fellas. Let go. It's been fun. We won't, you know, we won't forget you. Uh, so, definitely, definitely, those two brothers have to let go. Moving right along, I have to kick it back, as always, to my throwback book of the day. Let me find it right here for y'all. Uh, bam, the throwback book of the day is The Narrative of the Life of Frederick Douglass, an American Slave. It was written, of course, by Frederick Douglass. Um, if you've never read a slave narrative, this is a perfect one to start with. Um, it really talks about how he learns how to, uh, to read, teaches himself how to do so many things, um, and really uh, encapsulates the idea of slavery very well. So check it out, The Narrative of the Life of Frederick Douglass, an American Slave by himself, by Frederick Douglass. Um, one of the more important texts, again, in American uh, literature. Uh, Frederick Douglass, uh, big shout out to you, brother. And another big shout out to uh, today, I want to give a shout out to my man, DJ Spinfo. Um, if you don't know DJ Spinfo, you got to check him out. If you're in the New York City area, I hope you already do or ho hopefully have already hit up an event where Spinfo is at, because he is a bad man, yo. Um, knew him from college way back in the day when he was starting off, and he was killing back then at open mics and poetry events and little talent shows, and now he's doing big things with, you know, at Summer Jam, big clubs, big parties. If you haven't seen DJ Spinfo, definitely check him out. Um, I'm going to toss up a DJ Spinfo link somewhere around here, because uh, he's on YouTube, MySpace, the whole nine. Check him out. Um, and that's it, man. Brett Favre, LL. Let go. Frederick Douglass, hold on. Spinfo, get it in. 
So uh, holla at me once again, man. I'll catch y'all tomorrow. It's your man, Mr. Jeff Desson. This is the fall of Mr. Jeff Desson. And we out. Mets still in first place. Holla.